Most engines are designed with efficiency in mind, but some stand out by being surprising, confusing, or even amazing. These engines break the rules, push boundaries, and leave us wondering how they work. Let's take a look at some of the most unusual engines ever made. When the 1980s oil crisis hit, Cadillac faced a tough challenge, how to maintain their legendary performance while also being more fuel efficient. The answer was the V864 engine, a technological marvel that aimed to change the automotive world. What made it unique was its ability to switch between 8, 6, or 4 active cylinders depending on the power needed. During highway cruising or light acceleration, it would deactivate cylinders, making the engine more fuel efficient. But when more power was needed, all cylinders would come back to life, providing the full strength of a V8. Unfortunately, the V864 faced a major issue, rough engine performance. Drivers reported jolting shifts between cylinder modes, causing a bumpy ride. The problem lay in the engine's early computer control system, which struggled to keep up with the changing driving conditions. This resulted in a disconnect between what the driver wanted and what the engine did, leaving many owners disappointed. Meanwhile, across the Pacific, Mazda was working on something even more unusual, the rotary engine. Unlike conventional piston engines, the rotary engine uses spinning triangular rotors instead of pistons moving up and down. Its compact size and excellent power-to-weight ratio made it a great fit for Mazda's sporty cars. The rotary engine was smooth and vibration-free, able to rev higher than traditional engines, and became popular with driving enthusiasts. Iconic models like the RX-7 and RX-8 featured this engine, delivering outstanding performance and a unique high-pitched sound. However, the rotary engine's design had its drawbacks. It was less fuel-efficient than piston engines, consuming more gas and emitting more pollution. Despite Mazda's efforts to improve it, stricter environmental rules and a demand for more fuel-efficient cars led to the rotary engine's decline. But in 2024, Mazda revived the rotary engine, not as the main power source, but as a range extender for hybrid cars, showing that sometimes an old idea can have new life. Another bold experiment came from Preston Tucker, who took inspiration from helicopters for his car, the Tucker 48. He adapted a helicopter engine, the Franklin 0335, to power his car. This engine was based on the air-cooled flat-6 engine used in the Bell 47 helicopter. Tucker worked to convert it into a water-cooled engine, and its horizontal cylinder layout gave the car better handling and stability. The engine's innovative sealed water cooling system ensured it ran at optimal temperatures, even in tough conditions. With impressive horsepower, the engine helped the Tucker 48 reach remarkable speeds. The car could accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 10 seconds, giving it the feel of a rocket on wheels. Sadly, Tucker's company faced legal and financial troubles, and only 51 Tucker 48 cars were ever built, so the potential of this innovative engine was never fully realized. The next radical idea came from Dr. Herbert Land, who developed the spherical orbital engine. This engine threw away the traditional cylinder block altogether. Instead, it used two curved pistons that moved within a spherical housing, creating a unique and efficient design. The engine had fewer moving parts than traditional engines, which made it simpler and more reliable. Its compact size and lightweight were also advantages for improving performance without sacrificing fuel efficiency. Despite its many benefits, the spherical engine didn't make it into widespread use partly due to the challenges of mass production and the rapid rise of electric vehicle technology, which overshadowed this innovative design. Finally, there was Porsche's Fan 4 cam engine, which became a symbol of precision engineering and raw performance. Developed by Ernst Fuhrmann, this air-cooled four-cylinder engine was a masterpiece of design. Its four overhead camshafts controlled the engine's valves and springs with incredible precision. The engine's ability to breathe freely and rev smoothly led to impressive power outputs, with some variants producing up to 180 horsepower. This made Porsche's lightweight sports cars incredibly fast on both the road and the track. The Furman engine's design allowed it to deliver excellent power without sacrificing the car's agility, solidifying its place in automotive history. 
these engines show that sometimes the most unconventional ideas can lead to groundbreaking innovations. Each of them challenged traditional engineering principles and, though they may not have achieved widespread success, they left a lasting impact on the world of automotive technology. The engine provided smooth, consistent power, making it a pleasure to drive. Its strong torque and steady delivery were effective and addictive. The engine's signature sound, thanks to its air-cooled design and ability to rev high, became beloved by driving enthusiasts. However, the Furman engine had its issues. Its complex valve system and air-cooled design made it sensitive to cold weather, so it needed careful warm-ups to avoid damage. Additionally, the engine's intricate build made it difficult to maintain, with even small repairs often requiring significant disassembly. In the world of electric vehicles, range anxiety remains a major concern, making many drivers stick to traditional gas-powered cars. One solution to this is the free piston range extender, which could bridge the gap between the environmental benefits of electric cars and the convenience of traditional combustion engines. This range extender works as a small gasoline engine that generates electricity to recharge an electric vehicle's battery on the go. The engine is compact and efficient, running at optimal speeds to maximize energy output and reduce fuel waste. Because it doesn't directly power the wheels, the engine can be tuned for peak performance without affecting the EV's instant torque or quiet operation. Next, Infinity's variable compression engine takes innovation to the next level. After two decades of development, this engine adjusts its compression ratio based on driving conditions, offering both high performance and fuel efficiency. It can switch between power and efficiency as needed, making it ideal for both thrilling drives and long-distance trips. This technology allows for more torque and better fuel economy, and it adapts to the driver's needs in real time. Motorcycle technology also saw a major leap with the Duke Axial engine. This engine challenges conventional designs by positioning cylinders in an unusual star pattern. Its compact and lightweight structure makes it extremely powerful, with an impressive power-to-weight ratio. The engine is efficient, capable of revving high while remaining smooth and reliable. Its innovative sliding seal system, instead of traditional valves, reduces complexity and enhances performance. On four wheels, the Ferrari flat 12 engine stood out with its low center of gravity. By arranging the cylinders in a flat 180 degrees layout, Ferrari created a power plant that improved handling, especially in racing cars during the 1970s. However, the flat design made it difficult to fit in standard car engines and maintenance could be complex due to the engine's intricate layout. Volkswagen's VR5 engine redefined compactness and power. With five cylinders arranged at a 15 degrees angle, it offered the best of both worlds, compact size and smooth operation. The VR5 engine provides a distinctive sound and remarkable responsiveness, offering both a powerful driving experience and practicality in compact cars. The Napier Deltic engine, known for its opposed piston design, is a unique engine that uses three banks of cylinders arranged in a triangle. Each cylinder has two pistons moving in opposite directions, making it incredibly efficient and compact. It's used in boats and locomotives, where space and weight are limited but power is crucial. A company in China is making strides with an engine that powers large ships using hydrogen fuel cells. The process starts by splitting water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen using electrolysis. The hydrogen is then stored and used to generate electricity through a fuel cell, creating a clean energy cycle that powers the vehicle with only water vapor as exhaust. Another example of a simpler, more efficient design is the Bohr engine, which uses a single cylinder with two opposing pistons. This engine reduces complexity and inefficiency by eliminating the need for a traditional cylinder head. It promises greater efficiency, fewer emissions, and a smaller environmental footprint. The sleeve valve engine is another leap in engineering, replacing traditional valves with rotating sleeves to control the airflow in and out of the cylinders. This system runs much more smoothly and quietly than conventional designs. It also offers better durability and efficiency potentially reducing emissions while enhancing overall performance. Chrysler's turbine engine, inspired by jet engines, promised smooth, 
vibration-free power and could run on various fuels, including gasoline, diesel, and even perfume. However, it faced major challenges, such as poor fuel economy, slow throttle response, and an unsettling high-pitched sound. Despite initial excitement and public testing in the 1960s, the turbine engine never became a mainstream success. Lastly, the opposed piston engine continues to push the boundaries of efficiency by using two pistons in each cylinder moving in opposite directions. This design eliminates the need for a traditional cylinder head, reducing weight and complexity. While it's been mostly used in heavy-duty applications, like marine engines, it shows great promise for improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. In the automotive world, the H16 engine represents a pinnacle of complexity and power. With two banks of eight cylinders arranged in an H shape, it provides exceptional balance, smoothness, and power. Although it offers impressive performance, its complexity makes it difficult to maintain and expensive to manufacture. Despite these challenges, the H16 engine remains an admired and rare example of engineering excellence. Thanks for reading, and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.